Morning, y'all. It's time once again for coffee and Cadillac. That's the regular but mostly irregular thing we do around here. Where you join me and my Cadillac for coffee and my wacky opinions. Uh, so this morning, you might notice if you're watching us live, um, this is... A little earlier than normal and in the pursuit of truth I'm gonna talk about that's something we crave in this life is the pursuit of truth um, I'm joining you with my first cup of coffee and not my third like I normally would so pretty much outside of the sweater this is what I look like when I wake up so if you were in the Memphis area and a friend of mine it is possible and likely that you got an invitation to a little party we're gonna to throw today um, the, uh, at Two Rivers Bookstore, and it's the, uh, who cares about the Super Bowl party? Now, I worded it a little more strongly in the invitation, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. Um, I, I don't want to give the impression that I have contempt for you if you do give a care about the Super Bowl. That's okay. If that gives you joy, if that makes you happy, don't let anybody tell you any different, especially me. But... Well, no, I don't want to say but, because you know what they say, nothing before the but counts. Um, I guess I'm saying, in addition, if you don't care about the Super Bowl, like I don't care about the Super Bowl, and don't really care about the advertisements or any of the other hoopla that goes with it, you're welcome to join us at the Two Rivers Bookstore, um, if you're grown folks. Um, we're going to be singing grown folks songs, and as promised, I uh, I splurge for the, for the wine from the middle shelf at Aldi's, so... It's going to be quite the affair around 6 today if you want to come on down. And that's what I wanted to wanted to tell you. That, like I said, I wanted to clarify my position. If you enjoy sports, if you enjoy anything that people make fun of, that's fine. That's cool. It's not hurting anybody. You just do you. So anyway, like I said, maybe one of the pitfalls of joining me for the first cup of coffee is it's going to be a little bit rambling this morning. Uh... If we're also pursuing truth, it, it ain't just coffee. So anyway, yeah, but I'm uh, on the Two Rivers bookstore. Now, a lot of people on this uh, on this Facebook and this internet will tell you that, they'll kind of lead you to believe that things are binary, that you're one or the other. And I don't think that's true. Um, but uh, and I guess what I'm asking you is, you know, let's, 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 let's be bi-directional in our, in our support of things. Um, well, you know, you can, you, it's okay if you love Amazon and Netflix and all that. I, I do too, man. Hey, more than one. Um, I love that stuff, but I also love having, uh, local businesses with, uh, some local flavor and I love having these, these places that we can go. So, and that's one of the reasons we're, uh, we're at Two Rivers Bookstore today is because, uh, it, it's such a unique, uh, little local space and, uh, Heather does such a good job, uh, with, with, you know, curating the books that, that go into it and the, and the, and the things and whatnot. And, uh, that's not something you get from a big box. It's not something you get from, uh, from you know, the, your Amazons of the world. So uh, what I'm asking you to consider is, uh, you know, drop a couple of your dollars in places in your in your town that, that make it your town, um, that are unique, that you can't find anywhere else, um, that provide these spaces for people to actually, you know, have face-to-face -face conversations and see and talk to each other. Uh, I'm from Memphis. I don't make any bones about it. Um, and it's easy to say you're cool when you're from the town that is one of the epicenters are cool in the entire world. I get it. And, uh, you know, if you're not from here, I feel a little bad for you, but not, not really. I mean, you could be from someplace cool too. It's all right. So anyway, yeah, like I said, maybe we're going to re-examine this whole first cup of coffee. Um, coffee in a Cadillac, and maybe I should just get to the song. Um, like I said, if you if you're watching the Super Bowl, man, that's awesome. You enjoy that. Uh, just you know, don't don't get intoxicated and drive. Call it call an Uber. Call a cab. Um, I'd say call me, but my wife's driving me today again in the pursuit of truth. Um, but also as you're as you're you're spending your time and your dollars, make sure you're you're doing things that keep your local community alive. I'm going to play this song. You know what? I, I, and, I, and like I said, first cup of coffee again. I'm going to totally remiss. Everybody that came out to see us at Lafayette's this Thursday, just thank you so much. I just, 
to stand up on that stage in front of that cooking band and look out and see all your beautiful smiling faces and, uh, you know, getting, getting a laugh at everybody. And for just a little while, we're all together and well, we're just having fun. Um, thank you so much. Anyway, last thoughts, like what you like, remember to support the artists and the places and the folks in your local community. Go out, talk to people, say hey, shake hands. Don't talk about them and they walk away. I mean, if you do, it's not really hurting anybody. Huh? I'm not going to judge. I'm going to play you a song now. and this is, uh, this is a song about my hometown. It's called Fool from Memphis, and I would be a fool from Memphis. And I owe a little debt to uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Luttrell and Greg Green for some of the adventures described herein. I'll let you figure out which. Woke up this morning from a ten dollar drunk Sometimes I just can't believe my luck Feel like I got hit by a truck Getting by in Memphis Laid out on the sidewalk down on Madison Avenue My best friend says, man, what's wrong with you? Pulled our change for a 40 Getting high in Memphis Crack of noon and my telephone is ringing Late from my job in a greasy kitchen I'll get another one tomorrow I'm getting fired in Memphis But I saw Jerry Lyle harass a junkyard dog At the intermission of a monster truck show Mid-South Coliseum, I was ten years old Riverside Speedway on a Saturday night I seen a couple of good old boys get into an axe handle fight Eight on one, I didn't think it was right They're cracking their heads in West Memphis And a car on fire outside of Wild Bill's, rest in peace Somebody howling, somebody gonna get killed Me, I don't know nothing I mind my business in Memphis but I remember Sputnik spinning in front of Joe's liquor store, it's still there, doing the funky chicken on Rayford's light up dance floor. We all danced till our feet were sore, getting down in Memphis. But I saw Jerry Lyle, her wrestle junkyard dog, at the intermission of a monster truck show, Mid South Coliseum. I was ten years old In the tomb of doom I saw the grateful dead When all the downtown smelled like wonder bread That's a happy place inside of my head I need a miracle in Memphis Cause I'm in love with a river that I can't swim across and I believe my blood type might be barbecue sauce I might wander, but I ain't lost Just point me back to Memphis When that day comes and I meet my fate I'm gonna Jackie Fargo strut through the pearly gates Rufus Thomas will turn to Johnny Cash and he will say Another fool from Memphis I saw Jerry Lyle harassle junkyard dog at the intermission of a monster truck show. Mid South Coliseum, I was ten years old. I saw Jerry Lyle harassle junkyard dog at the intermission of a monster truck show. Mid South Coliseum, I was ten years old. And just remember, if you ain't going to watch that game, you should come over to Two Rivers Bookstore on Young, right next to Java Cabana, 6 o'clock this evening, have a little wine with us, and listen to me sing some grown folk songs. Take it easy, y'all.